Hi, let me give you a pocket of chips. Can you tell me how much moisture is present in it? Is it possible to, okay, identify the water presented in a food pocket or in a pharmaceutical drug? Yes, it is possible. My name is Marasudan Yadav. I have completed my master's from Delhi IIT. Today I'm going to explain you about carbon fissure titration. This titration is widely used in pharmaceutical industry and food industry, where you can find the amount of moisture present in any substance. So here I'll share you some important uh, concept related to the coal fission titration, have a look at this. So the purpose of coal fission titration is to identify the quantity of water present in the substance. So the principle of coal fission titration is it is based on the it is based on the oxidation. It is based on the oxidation reaction between the iodine and sulfur dioxide. Okay, so iodine and sulfur dioxide reacts with the water or the moisture present in, in the substance and converted into hydrogen iodide and sulfur trioxide. See, this is a ingredients or the composition of coal fissure reagent. Here, iodine is used in sulfur dioxide and to create a buffer medium, we use imidazole. Earlier, they used to have pyridine in this place, but pyridine makes the person, okay, infertile. They become a sterile person. They become sterile person because the egg release or sperm count releases decreases, okay? The count these decreases. So the people become sterile. That's why the use of pyridine is banned. Now in the place of pyridine, imidazole has been used. So to create a solid medium, methanol is used. Okay, you may expect a question from Paul Fisher titration. So here is a short note on that. One ml of coal fission. If you mix all of these, you will get a coal fission reagent. Okay, one ml of this coal fission reagent will have 3.5 milligrams of water. You may ask me, so from where this water content has entered into the reagent? Yes, this coal fission reagent, while preparing the reagent, it may absorb some background moisture. That means the moisture present in the atmosphere. So here are the equations, okay? This is the first equation, water on reaction with sulfur dioxide, uh, in terms of iodine is converting into hydrogen iodide. Here, iodide, minus zero to minus one, and you have sulfur is in plus four oxidation state, plus three oxidation state, plus six, uh, yeah, plus six oxidation state, it is converted. So it is an oxidation of sulfur, right? So here, you know, pyridine is taken. You can take pyridine or imidazole. Not a problem, but in the recent times, only imidazole has been used. Okay, this time. So here, imidazole you can take imidazole also no problem. Imidazole, methanol, sulfur dioxide, and water, iodine. What is this water? This is the water you are trying to analyze that is present in the uh, a drug or in any food material. Okay, so here it is. This is the equation. So to know more about polyphenol preparation. Click the link in the description. Okay. There, complete analytical chemistry course has been uploaded in Omni Square Academy. Hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you all.